Welcome to the worst cooking channel of all time. Not only is she bad at it, but she also makes the grossest stuff. Hello again! I'm very nervous but excited about today's video and that is because we are going to make a weird 1950s recipe. There are so many unusual and bizarre recipes that sort of came about from the 1950s and lasted really through the 70s. I've always been fascinated with these bizarre recipes and I've spent many a night deep in the internet looking at these bizarre flavor combinations, presentations, foods that seem like they are a huge huge distance based on what we eat today. I don't know why I've always been drawn to these. There's some weird dreamlike quality to this old food photography. And it's not because the food looks appetizing. It's like the aesthetics of emptiness and stillness in this meal that's supposed to be an event where people come together. Am I reading too much into this? Probably. And in the realm of these weird recipes, I've especially been drawn to gelatin-based recipes. What are they? Why are they? What do they taste like? There are so many out there, somebody had to be eating them. So today we are going to be making perfection salad. Besides having an amazing name, <laughs> this seems like it was a pretty popular recipe. If you type in perfection salad on Google, you will get tons of recipes for this. I cannot even imagine what this jelly salad tastes like. Like I said, there are actually a ton of variations on this recipe out there on the internet, but I'm going to be following one from vintagerecipecards.com. If for some reason you want to follow along at home, the ingredients you'll need are two envelopes of unflavored gelatin, a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, 12 ounces of apple juice, half a cup of lemon juice, two tablespoons of vinegar, one cup of shredded carrot, one cup of sliced celery, one cup finely shredded cabbage, half cup of chopped green pepper, and then it says one can or four ounces of chopped pimento, which I could not find at all, so I'm using roasted pepidu peppers. Oh, I forgot to mention that you'll need some gelatin mold as well. Welcome to my tiny kitchen. Oh, wait. <laughs> much better. So first of all, I've run into a roadblock with these dry ingredients. This old recipe calls for two envelopes and I do have sachets here, but how much was in a old timey envelope of gelatin? I've done a bit of research and I've gotten different, different amounts. And basically it's supposed to be one sachet per pint of, of liquid. And in this situation, it would sound like you would need one, but I don't know if it's calling for two since, you know, it needs to encapsulate objects. <sighs> just gonna wing it. I think I'm gonna do two. It's better to have it too firm than collapse on itself, I guess. Now that the dry ingredients are all evenly mixed, we're going to be adding one cup of water and heating it over a low heat until everything is dissolved. We'll then be adding the apple juice, the lemon juice, and the vinegar. Okay, so this sweet and tangy mixture is, is ready to go. And this is a part of the recipe I'm a bit confused about. We're going to put it in a medium bowl and let it refrigerate for one hour. I assume that this is so it can set a little bit before you put the vegetables in, otherwise they're all gonna sink to the bottom. So we're gonna put this in, in a bowl and <laughs> see where we are in an hour. Uh. One hour of just being with you Then I could say what I'm feeling and conceive While we're waiting for that to set for an hour, we will chop up the vegetables that we need. Tonight when all our dancing is also, don't at me with my chopping technique. I am not a chef. Cooking is actually like not my favorite thing in the world. I love baking and I've baked lots of elaborate, very complicated things. But for cooking, generally I like my meals to take 30 minutes or less. One time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on making a bolognese from scratch. I spent so long on this and you still eat it in 15 minutes.
Welcome to the worst cooking channel of all time. Not only is she bad at it, but she also makes the grossest stuff. And if you're wondering, no, the grocery did not have pre-shredded carrots. I live fairly rurally and they're like, you can shred your damn carrots yourself. Think I grew these carrots so I could shred them too? Absolutely not. I'm still having a bit of cognitive dissonance that the things I'm chopping up right now are going into a jelly salad. Cause I'm like chopping this up. I'm like fresh vegetables. This is pretty nice. Got a lot of colors here. We got, got red and green and orange and jelly. Lawyers just let me know of a very tragic fact, and that is I forgot to give her food. Sorry, honey. Okay, so it has been an hour, and now it's time to combine the two and put it in its mold. I'm gonna do handfuls at a time, so it's not just like a giant plop. Oh my. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? But to be honest, this, the like jello mixture smells great. Am I gonna like this? And now we wait for four hours. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you put it in the fridge for four hours or until it is set. So I'll check back in then and I'll see you when we release this beast. We are now at the four hour mark and it is not ready at all. It's not even remotely set. I'm kind of hopeful that it's on its way because when I tap it at the top, I am getting a bit of surface tension. So I don't know if this is my fault that I did something wrong. Some places on the internet are saying that it can take anywhere from eight to 24 hours for gelatin to properly set. So I don't know, <laughs> I guess. We'll meet back here tomorrow and hope I have something to eat. I'm gonna be disappointed if, if I don't get to try my, my jelly salad. <sighs> Here's hoping. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day. I have gone to work, I've come back home, and that jello mold has been in the fridge for over 24 hours now. So now it is time for the plating and the taste test. I'm very excited. All right, here we are, moment of truth. I'm gonna do the, the plate on top and the flip. And it did not set. It was in there for more than 24 hours and all I have is jello salad mush. It kind of, it kind of set, like there's jelly, but man oh man, is it not like the photo. This morning I gave it a feel and I could tell that it wasn't gonna finish setting. I've done a bit of research on what stops gelatin from setting and it could be anything from gelatin molecules got too hot. Gelatin molecules didn't get hot enough. Should have done water and then gelatin, gelatin and then water. Water. Should have done it with cold water. Should have done it with hot water. It could have been anything according to the internet. So yeah, this is did not go as planned, but you're gonna get what you came for. I'm still gonna try this thing. Mm. Uh, honestly, the, the taste itself is not horrible. There are bitty gelatin pieces in here, so the texture is absolutely awful. Wow. So I think that is maybe setting me off more than, than the flavors themselves. Um, the apple juice 
really is at odds with like what I want in a refreshing salad. I messed up. What can I say? Wowee, that was an experience. <laughs> I mean, I got, I still got to taste it, but it did not satisfy my dream of making a weird gelatin mold recipe. I kind of was unsure whether I was going to continue with the video uh, when I sort of knew that it wasn't going to work, but I think it's just as important to upload your failures as it is your successes. We're all human, sometimes we try new things and Sometimes we fail miserably at those new things. In the future, I think I will do a little bit more research before I take something like this on. I think part of the problem was I was following the original instructions pretty faithfully and I probably should have looked at more modern recreations of this recipe just to get my head around it. But I'll be honest, I pretty much just saw this one and was like, yep, I'm doing it and that was obviously to my failure. Either way, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this journey, even though the destination was not what was expected. And I would love to know if you have ever done something like this, failed really spectacularly at something new you were trying, made an inedible meal, or maybe you're amazing and you're like, check out my jello mold, bitch. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!